Hey guys, in this episode I want to transform the Hardfire homes. I'll be showing 3 mods that extend, improve and overhaul the exterior of the homes you can make in Hardfire. I'll also show a few smaller mods that might be helpful or other nice replacements to the vanilla Hardfire interiors. The first mod is a very small mod, the Hardfire Cheats Chest. I used this here to quickly build this house, and I thought that I might as well include it in this list. This adds any and all materials you might need for these three homes to be built in their final states. The new added chests with the materials can be found at each Hardfire home. This also adds the chests that bring you to a new magazine, where you can travel from one place to another. Uh, surely not for everyone, but definitely one of the faster ways of building this if you just want to get it over with. The first Hardfire home we'll upgrade is the Helljargen Hall. We'll be using the mod Helljargen Estate upgraded for this. One of the most noticeable features after installing this extension is the new wall surrounding the estate. This will help you against any attacks on your home and make the place feel more safe altogether. Another feature you might immediately notice is the new large platform extending all the way to the Giant's Camp, which is located close to Helljarken Estate. This platform has a well-placed bar with sitting spaces and a large pool behind it. A very nice addition to the home. Going all the way to the end of this platform, we have a gazebo hovering over the giant's camp. Closer towards the actual Helljarken estate, you'll notice that the smithing area has been given many additions, including more storage space, a forge and a telling rack. There is a new alchemy garden where you can find some new plants. And close to this garden you have a new alchemy table and a satchel to place some ingredients in. Another garden can be found near the stone mill on the other side of the house. This garden is beautifully located on a hill. Next to it there is a small shack with some stores of food and more storage possibilities. And to make the most out of the vanilla gardens from the Hardfires, I recommend to look into the mod More Plants and Recipes for Hardfire, including Vanguard and Dragonborn plants. This basically does exactly what the title suggested does, adding more plants and recipes to plants for gardens and planters. On top of all this, there have been some smaller changes like placements of additional trees, shrubs, more rocks, uh, other clutter, and some removal of unwanted snow. It's a very nice upgrade to Helljarken Hall, making it feel more like a farm, an actual place where your family could live in peace. And to make this place really peaceful, we will use the mod Hardfire Attacks Disabled, which again does exactly what the title suggests it does. One of the features in Hardfire is triggering attacks on your homes by different wildlife and bandits. This mod disables this feature. The next home we're overhauling is the Lakeview Manor. We'll be using the mod Lakeview Manor Extended. A very well done upgrade to Lakeview Manor. A noticeable feature is again the newly added wall and entrance gates. Next to both the entrance gates we have a nice looking garden. When using this mod, many flowers, trees and some farm plots have been added and relocated around and within the area of Lakeview Manor. And this mod also adds some statues around the place, a new well and a new road connecting to your manor and the main roads. Lakeview Extended has also included a handful of NPCs making the place feel more alive and more like a small settlement. Outside the walls of Lakeview Manor we find a new fishing hatch for easy fishing with a small shack located next to it. The mud crabs here are friendly. And of course a lot more has been added and changed within the walls of Lakeview Manor. Entering the place from the west gate, we first take a walk left, towards a new pool and a small park. Next to this pool we have another larger and more fancy looking pool.
And there's also a mist effect over the water, which you can turn on and off. From here we continue our way towards the newly added watchtower. The dummies you find here can actually be used to level your skills. The watchtower itself has been placed in a defensive position, looking over the north wall towards Lake Ilianata. Inside this watchtower we find the entrance to a new alchemy shop and in here we'll find some more beds, nicely placed decorations and of course uh, the merchants to this place. Good to see. Take a look. Lakeview Manor Extended adds a couple more entrances to new places. Another cave can be found close to where the Vanilla Conjurer's altar was located. Lakeview Manor Extended removes this altar and replaces it with a tree. Inside the new cave, close to this tree we find a mushroom garden and some newly added Karas Gardeners. This place looks absolutely great and even has a small secret leading to a dragon slur. A very well thought out and very creative. Leaving this cave, we travel towards a final cave, which can be found inside the Lakeview Manor Rock. This one can be found close to the hill's edge. Inside this cave we find another beautifully made area. This cave has lots of farming plots, all nicely placed on top of each other. The creatures found within all these caves are friendly and help making the, making the caves feel more alive. This cave also offers different types of ore to mine. Leaving the cave we walk across the edge of the cliff some more until we find a cave with a teleport stone behind it. Using the teleport stone here brings you to the Lakeview prison, where we have a nice lookout over the area and the activatable beacon on top. Inside this prison you will find some more cages with prisoners and a trapped werewolf. Good to see you. Finally Lakeview Manor extended as a new house close to the Lakeview Manor. Inside this house you will find some more beds and a small dragon. You can enable or disable some features by talking to this dragon. 
What assistance do you require? A Lakeview Manor Extended is a very nice extension to Lakeview Manor. For the final overall of Hardfire Homes, I chose the mod Winstead Manor, fortified and upgraded. This is a little bit different than the previous two mods, since you will first have to build all the upgrades included in this mod. To do this, speak to your appointed steward. Here you'll find options to improve the place with new buildings and decorations. You can and should also hire a number of guards for this place, to make it feel more alive. Once you build all the features, the place will look somewhat like a castle. I personally like the new added buildings and extras, but at the same time feel like the large walls and the huge structure with the beacon located at the edge of the cliffs are slightly out of place. It looks a little bit too massive next to the original Wits that matter. But then again, keep in mind that you can choose not to build certain things you see here. Besides the large structure with the beacon, this mod has some interesting features, like the largest bridge in Skyrim, going all the way to Solitude. This bridge even has its own drawbridges. Whenever you leave an area that has a drawbridge, it will automatically pull the drawbridge up, and when you get close to it, it will open up again for you. This mod also adds some more towers, houses, a custom road, and some other small additions like the well in front of Winstead, all buyable from the steward. The author of this mod adds even more plans for this in the future, However, looking at the dates, I wonder if he comes back to it. If he doesn't, that would be unfortunate. It's still a very nice extension to try out sometime, even without the extras he would have added in the future. The mod doesn't feel unfinished at all. All by all, there doesn't seem to be too many mods that extend Winstead, so the choice for overhauling Winstead was limited. I do however have two smaller mods that might be interesting for the interiors, since I haven't showed anything for the interiors yet. These are all compatible with these overalls. The first one is the Winstead Cellar upgraded, which of course improves the Winstead Cellar, makes it look more fancy and more functional with more storages, mannequins, a tanning rack, smelter, all the divine shrines and much more. This mod also comes for the Lakeview Manor and Helljarken Estate, if you wish to get it there instead. I'll quickly show some of the extra rooms here. And the other mod for the interior is the Winstead Master Bathroom Suit and the Lakeview Master Bathroom Renovation by the same author. These two mods simply redesign the bathroom and make it feel more fancy with better lighting. I could not find a similar version for Helljarkon's bathroom though. And for these bathroom mods, be sure you have built the bathroom option when you use these mods and do not place any furniture in it. And that's about it for this episode. I personally like these three improvements a lot. They feel a lot more rewarding than the vanilla hard fire homes. The authors of these mods states to be sure you have built everything before activating these mods if you wish to try them out. These mods require the homes to be built in game prior to activating the mod. This does include upgrades you can buy from your stewards, like a horse, cows and a fast travel cart. It shouldn't matter how you lay out these homes, as long as you finish these homes before you are installing these mods. Now I had some other material for this video, like the Winstead Mine, but eventually decided those might have been a little bit out of place for this showcase. It's worth checking out though. There are quite some additions and improvements uh, in the form of mods for Hardfire. 
I'll have to see how this video does and might make some more videos on this subject. I hope you enjoyed watching this or that this gave you a new idea. Consider leaving a like or subscribe and of course also consider endorsing the mentioned mods. Thanks everyone for watching and see you all later.